Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 17.3. The latest update 17.3, of course, is currently sitting in beta 3. So Apple will soon be releasing this software update to the general public. In this video, I want to talk about the expected release date based on previous schedules from previous years. I also wanted to share with you guys my experience so far with the battery. I want to talk about a few bugs and issues that I've noticed with the software. So let's go ahead and dive right into this one. Now, in case you didn't know, iOS 17.3 will bring two major updates to the iPhone. Number one is stolen device protection, which is currently in beta, of course. This one aims to protect you in the rare circumstances where someone steals your phone and they happen to know your passcode as well. Big new feature. I'll break this one down entirely on a separate video, so make sure to stay tuned and subscribe for that video. Apple is also bringing collaborative playlists to Apple Music with iOS 17.3. So this feature initially was intended for iOS 17.2, but is now in 17.3 and hopefully Apple will continue to provide this feature with the official final version of iOS 17.3 but as of right now in beta 3 it is still here now I want to talk about some of the bugs and issues that I've encountered with iOS 17.3 over the past month of testing and the first thing I want to talk about is Wi-Fi now I don't have great news to share with you guys unfortunately I'm still experiencing issues where the Wi-Fi connection on this iPhone is poor and sometimes it randomly disconnects now if you're having Wi-Fi issues I would like to know in those comments down below but unfortunately Wi-Fi issues still persist with iOS 17.3 beta 3 as it sits right now now another major issue issue that I think it's major because it continues to happen on my primary device, the iPhone uh, 15 Pro Max that you see here, is that the cell data network on this device continues to sporadically disconnect from the carrier. I see SOS on the top. The entire network just drops in later maybe a minute or two later, it comes back on the iPhone. I've tried resetting my network settings. This has continued to happen ever since the update iOS 17.3 back in December. Beta 2 had the same issue and Beta 3 continues to have the same issue. So I've been places where I normally have service and the network just completely disconnects from my iPhone. Although sometimes it says 5G or LTE, it'll switch. I won't have any carrier service and it will say SOS and then it will last about a minute or two. I'm I'm not sure if you guys are running the beta and are encountering this issue, but if you are, I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. This continues to be an issue on iOS 17.3 for me, again, since the initial beta and it's still happening. And also keep in mind, I'm testing multiple devices, so it's also happening on other devices as well. Now, you guys also ask in regards to older iPhones as well. I've been testing the iPhone 11, one of the older iPhones to support 17.3. And I have to say in terms of performance, the software is running pretty good in terms of performance overall, other than the two issues that I mentioned with Wi-Fi and cell connection on my primary device. Everything else seems to be running smooth. For example, the issue where the widgets will disappear from the home screen, that's no longer happening to me. Any issues with freezing on the lock screen. I haven't encountered that issue. However, one thing I do want to mention is that battery life on some devices is great. Believe it or not, on older devices, battery life is better than on newer devices for whatever reason. I've been testing again iPhone 11 and the latest iPhone 15 Pro Max. I do get through my entire day, but it's not as good as I hoped. Now, in terms of release dates, I know that Apple is most likely planning to release this new software update towards the end of January. Now, on previous years, with iOS 16.3 last year, Apple released that software to the general public on January 23rd. Now this year, we're currently sitting in beta three on the week of the 15th. And now tomorrow is Monday the 15th. It is Martha Luther King Day in the United States. I do not believe Apple will be releasing any betas. We can expect the RC, which is the release candidate, most likely on the week of the 15th, but not on Monday. Maybe on Tuesday or Wednesday the 17th, we'll see iOS 17.3 RC. Again, that's the release candidate before the official release and developers will get that, public beta testers as well. And with an official release, I'm thinking the week of the 22nd, at the latest, the week of the 29th, the last week of January. So we're about a week 
to a week and a half before Apple releases iOS 17.3 at the latest. So just keep in mind, this one is going to bring those two major features, stolen device protection, and of course, the Apple Music collaborative playlist. But as I mentioned, battery is okay on older devices, but not so good on the newer devices and the Wi-Fi and cell data issues still persist through this beta. I'll give you guys another update once Apple releases the RC. Stay tuned this week for hopefully the RC and we'll talk about the software later then. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.